Hey guys, what's good? Mike here, Laker Talk. Let's talk Lakers basketball. Back with another video. Let's get to it. Um, what happened today? Um, Boogie looks good, by the way. Boogie talking to Skeeter um, on Spectrum Sports Net. If you have not, go to Twitter and just kind of search that. Um, Boogie looks lean. And that's what we mean by Boogie looks good. He looks like he looks healthy he looks good he has a good feeling about him a mature statements he looks uh relaxed um the injuries are behind him i think this is great for him he's got a few months to even recover even more he said his quad is 100 percent healed obviously he's going to be working and continuing to strengthen that achilles which is also 100 percent healed and um he's determined um and he said he can't wait he's not trying to say much you can tell he just wants to get it cracking and get this get this show on the road and um but he looks decent you can just see in his face like he just looks lean and and that goes well for boogie um boogie you know i think he got in trouble when he got relaxed he got just you know he, he's a big guy and so when he gets relaxed puts on a little pounds you carry a little weight and um that's what gets you into trouble and um that's going to be a problem for for zion zion needs to kind of slim down he's a big guy zion is not big in that sense where he's just sloppy um his he's just naturally big there's nothing he can do to look like freaking brandon ingram right his body is just huge and so but so zion just needs to kind of really 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 lean out and work on his diet boogie looks like he's been doing that and so that is amazing to see i'm happy for boogie um i used to crack on boogie a lot like saying i don't want him because you know he's a hothead and things like that but i love that passion that's how i am I'm, I, I live off when it comes to sports i go off emotion and um i can't i can't knock anybody for that i'll take uh i'll take a a a player that is full of emotion that that is that is determined that wants to fight over any other player that don't you know that's that's more chill in that example that kevin garnett is one of my favorite players uh, obviously kobe is my favorite player kobe had showed the most heart than anybody and Kevin Garnett is another player that I've always favored, even when he was in Minnesota. Um, I mean, I followed him, and we were battling when when he was in Boston. But his passion, like when he was in Minnesota, when he really wanted to win, I think he was seven years deep, and he was talking to John Thompson or something like that, and he was crying in that interview on national TV about how bad he really wanted, and, and it, the struggle was real, and I got it. And Kevin Garnett, for that was my best that's why i don't like players that don't show that emotion that that doesn't show heart and that's why i mean to be honest with you that's why i got on lebron james um last year where he just seemed like he was on vacation he was in la taking back seat letting the guys get theirs off he wasn't really taking over he wasn't coming here to say i'm gonna win a championship or i'm gonna take these guys to the next level he kind of just waited around and it, it was it is what it was you know whatever and and the season ended the way it did and here we are and so but i i think he is hearing the chatter he is he's seen what happened last year he even though he put up some decent numbers because he can put up those numbers in, in his sleep i think he's going to come back even stronger um but boogie like i said on the floor he's passionate and really excited for boogie really excited to see how he looks um earlier in the day some other stuff i posted um a little quick video my thoughts on a couple of things the free agency free agent market i want to talk about rob but so i'm looking at you know obviously quiet leonard signed a three a two plus one a three-year deal with with the um clippers and then they talked about the list of all the players free agent players that are going to be coming out in 2000 21 or 2021 you know Kawhi Leonard Paul George um, LeBron Giannis listen 
and I, I said this in my video, I'm over waiting for any players. That's, I, I'm straight over it. This year was the first year that I wasn't even waiting for LeBron James last year. To be honest, when he came, it was like, wow, we got him. Let's go, let's go. I was really hyped when we got him, but I wasn't waiting around. This year, I felt I got played because I bought into this Kawhi Leonard hype, and, and I hate it. If you don't, if you know me personally, I'm not like that. I don't hang around. I clip you real quick. I, I don't have no baggage, no drama, no nothing. I have, I'm super confident in what I know, and, and, and I'll go forward. You drama clip out of my life i don't even think about you for the next you know no more than two minutes and i gave this food two weeks of my life Kawhi leonard that is and he was playing the lakers i'm not waiting around for no free agent ever 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 again when the shoe drops and that player signs for the lakers that's when i'm locked in straight up that's it i don't i'm not good at judging Who's gonna come? How much you're gonna get paid, and all that stuff. I leave. I always said that. I leave that up. Even when Mitch Kupchak was was managing, I'm like, I don't know who to sign. Have Mitch. I trust in Mitch Kupchak now. I trust in Rob. And when those players do get signed, I'm a judge of talent. So when I watch and I see um, see how they play and see how they play defense and see what type of things they bring each and every night, I'm a good judge of character based on that. I know when I love a guy who gives heart because I, I was a big fan of um, Lonzo, as you all know. Lonzo didn't show the stuff that we thought he was capable of showing. He didn't shoot the ball well, but I loved what he brought in for that for that matter. Um, you know, I, I knocked D'Angelo Russell when he was here for, for things, you know, for, for, for things I thought he could improve on. Um, call it like you, you know. A player m misses and, and plays poorly. I'm like, let's trade him. I'm like, I'm passionate. I'm, you know. But that's why I'm. I'm just. I just react based on what I see, right? Sometimes I'm wrong. Sometimes I'm wrong. I'm not. I'm not and and you know, some somebody that that trying to break any stories or anything, anything like that. I'm just a passionate guy that just I see it and I want to talk about it. That's just what I am. And that's what I'm going to be doing from now on. I don't care who's coming out in 2021. I don't care who's who we get next year. I'm looking at our roster, who we sign, you on the squad, your family right now. Let's work. Show me some passion. Show me when you get on that floor, try to win for the squad. Bring that Kobe set the standard in terms of his mentality. That's the standard that we want, that I want personally coming into the floor. And I think we're going to get that especially out of AD. I think we're going to get that out of LeBron and we're going to get that out of our role players who obviously are here to win. So miss me with any free agent, future, any of that stuff. Mike, what do you think about this? Should we go after this guy? Get out. I don't want to hear it. Get out. Talk to me when that player signs and I'll tell you what I think. Um, Lastly, I just I, I talked about um, Rob Plinka and how I trusted Rob now. I was looking at last year, and we were just joking around, and we were looking at the, the I was looking at the roster, we had their nice roster, and, and on paper, we look really good. On paper, right? We always got to put it together, but on paper, we look really good. And I was just kind of mind-boggled on how far we've come from last year. Now, I love Magic to death, but Magic was tragic. We had just landed LeBron James, and he goes back to back with Michael Beasley, Lance Stevenson. Let's Brooke Lopez walk. I mean, you can go on and on and on, but that's how we ended up last year. And this year, we pretty much signed every top player available that was in free agency. And what was the difference? Rob Palenka had his chance to let his wings um, fly. And, and sore, right? And so magic, uh, magic was tragic. And we just got, so basically we got to give, what I'm saying is we got to give it up to Rob. Everybody's talking about how he was a snake. Nobody likes to work with him, things like that. Um, I cracked on Rob a lot just based on his storytelling and things like that. And kind of just bought into just kind of like cracking on the guy a lot, but much respect. There's a reason why he was 
Kobe's right hand guy for the over 20 years. Kobe's one of the smartest guys in all of sports. Um, I think Kobe can be a, an executive um, um, for the Lakers, but I don't think I don't think Kobe would would do well at G. I, I think Kobe could be an executive, can be a right hand man with Rob. But I love what Rob has done. I love what Rob is capable of doing, and I trust in Rob right now. Just how I trusted in Mitch Kupchak, based on what I seen this year and what we've done. Even though I didn't want to trade Lonzo, I didn't want to trade Bi. I'm now in favor of this trade for Anthony Davis and this new resurgence and this new rebuild. That the fact that we're now no, we're done with the kids. We're done with the kids. We got the grown men on the squad and we're ready to compete for championships. Much love. Shout out to Rob for that. And so that's my thoughts for today. Hit me up in the comments below. Let me know your thoughts. Thank you for commenting, liking, and subscribing. As always, in between videos, follow me on Twitter at MikeSportsLA for all my thoughts and things that's going on throughout the day. If you're not subscribed, subscribe to my YouTube channel. More to come. I'll let you guys. Peace.